Good evening and thank you for joining us for Krem2 News. First at four, I'm Mark Hanrahan. We are broadcasting live from the Rosars on the South Hill this evening, talking all things Tom's Turkey Drive. Hard to believe Thanksgiving now just one week away. The Turkey Drive, though, in full swing right now. So coming up in just a little bit, we'll tell you how many donations have rolled in so far and how you can still get involved to help. But for now, Cody, we'll send things back to you in the studio because I understand we have a busy weather day today. That's exactly right, Mark. It is. We've been seeing across our region that it has been snowing all throughout the Spokane area and throughout North Idaho, and that means it is time for winter driving. The National Weather Service of Spokane tweeted this out to give you an idea of what to expect on the roadways. Now they're saying you should prepare for winter driving conditions in northern Washington and in Idaho. This is our look at our tower cam right now looking over downtown Spokane. You can kind of see those gray overcast skies out there and WS Spokane and also says the greatest risk for one or more inches of snow will be north of the Highway 2 corridor for Washington and north of Interstate 90 in Idaho. And of course, speaking of the snow, we want you to share your snow pictures with us. Text them straight to 509-448-2000 or you can text the word share to that same phone number and we'll send you all the ways that you can share your snow pictures with us. We've already received a couple. It's been really interesting, been fantastic seeing some of that, those snow photos already. And as we take a live look over downtown Spokane right there, you can see the pavilion right there. We have been seeing those overcast skies and some of that snow that has been falling around our region. Let's throw it on now over to Thomas Patrick to give us a look at the forecast. Yeah, well, here's the thing, Cody, from our Outdoor Weather Center. It is snowing quite gently here, and it has been really for the last two and a half hours. But the kicker is none of it's been able to stick just yet. The ground beneath my feet is totally just wet. These snowflakes are melting pretty much instantly for now. Now, but we are under winter weather advisories pretty much along that highway two corridor and to the north as we're expecting at minimum one inch of snow, but some areas could get three or four, especially in northern Washington by the time we get to tomorrow morning. Looks like there's some heavy snow just to the south and southwest of the Spokane area. So if you're traveling on I 90 towards the Sprague area or even towards uh, 195 or Palouse Highway to the south, you will be running into some some heavier snow. That's a little less gentle overall, but it's not only snow. There's actually rain over the Palouse. So it's still raining near Pullman in Moscow as of right now. So very tricky forecast in terms of who's seeing snow, who's seeing rain and who could actually see both as we head throughout the evening tonight. Some temperatures below the freezing mark like Spokane and northward. Some temperatures still above that freezing mark. So we're still tracking how much longer the snow is going to last. And we'll have a detailed look as to how much snow could accumulate by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon. That's all straight ahead. Thanks so much, Thomas. Definitely a tricky forecast out there, What? but it is certainly cold outside. Now, every year, Spokane drivers have to navigate snowy roads, and that can be challenging for new and unexperienced drivers. Krem 2's Kyle Simchuk showing us how people are preparing right now. Kyle. Yeah, Cody, we're on the South Hill, and right now roads are fine. No problems for drivers heading home, but if this snow starts to stick, it could be a different story and you definitely don't want to be driving around on tires like these. Look how bald they are. We went to Les Schwab in Spokane Valley where tire technicians are busy installing snow and all season tires. General Manager Brad Horse says now is the time to check your tire tread and if you need new tires, local stores are ready to help. Demand is pretty high. Um, we have full crews at all of our stores now that are eager and hungry and, and ready to take care of our customers. So we're busier than usual right now at this time of the year, but we're all ready to take care of you. Tire stores like Les Schwab also offer free tire inspections. Now coming up later this evening, we'll be talking to the Washington State Patrol to see what troopers, uh, driving trips troopers have and what they usually see around this first snowfall. Reporting live on the South Hill, Kyle Simcha, Krem2 News. Kyle, thank you so much braving those cold temperatures outside. And now that the snow is falling across Spokane and the rest of the region, that means it's go time for the Washington State Department of Transportation. WSDOT says they've spent the last few weeks transitioning and prepping for the upcoming winter season. With snow in the forecast, officials say staff will be coming in early tomorrow to be ready to go out to plow and treat the roadways. However, WSDOT, like many other entities, is facing staffing shortages this season with about 300 less employees across the state in their typical winter staffing positions. Those numbers are of late last month. Depending on how much snow we see, it could mean just slower response times. We're still going to plow all the roadways, but with limited staff, it could mean that some areas do take a little bit longer to get to. 
Now, since this is the first snowfall of the season, Overton advises drivers to slow down and drive for the conditions. He's also reminding drivers that stopping on snow takes longer, so give yourself plenty of time to stop, as well as plenty of time in even getting to your destination. Well, Tom's Turkey Drive is happening right now, and we are less than a week away from Distribution Day. It's exciting for us here. Mark Hanrahan is live at Rose Hours today, where you can donate a meal right now. Yes, good evening, Cody. It's a good day to be inside doing Tom's Turkey Drive, right? It is in full swing, as you mentioned. Again, hard to believe, but we're just a week away from Thanksgiving. So every year, Tom's Turkey Drive aims to provide Thanksgiving meals to 11,000 local families in need. It is a huge undertaking, but we seem to pull it off every single year, thanks in large part to community members. So here's how you can help if you would like to do so. Just $20 buys a Thanksgiving meal for a family of four. You can donate at any area Rosar's stores through Thanksgiving. You can also send a monetary donation to Second Harvest. We'll hand out all the Turkey Day goodies November 23rd at the Spokane County Fairgrounds. And you can go to any area Rosar's and buy a Tom's Turkey Drive bag at checkout. Tom's Turkey Drive bags are $20. They'll provide a Thanksgiving meal for a family of four. It is a smoking deal. You can buy them at checkout, online shopping, or curbside pickup. Rosars, by the way, will be selling the bags all the way up through Thanksgiving, so you still have time to do so. All right, we are going to hang out here at this Rosars for the duration of our evening newscast tonight. Uh, but coming up later in the broadcast, Cody, we'll hear from one of our larger donors so far this year. But for this year, rather. But for now, we'll send things back to you. Thanks so much, Mark. Definitely looking warm inside right now. Well, moving on, the Lilac Festival is holding its first ever holiday parade this Saturday in downtown Spokane. This comes after a two year hiatus of the annual Lilac Parade in May. Now the parade begins at 3.30 Saturday afternoon and organizers expect it to last for about an hour. City streets will close at 1.30 to give the floats time to stage at the beginning of the route, so be aware of that. The route starts at the corner of Washington Street and Spokane Falls Boulevard and winds through downtown before ending at the intersection of Post Street and Spokane Falls Boulevard. Organizers are excited to kick off the holiday season. Come down, have fun. This is this is bringing back the community after you know two years of a pandemic. We're going to have masks all over scattered out there. So if you need the mask, please do. Uh, and if uh, just follow the normal guidelines, social distancing and being careful and but have fun. And of course, you'll also be seeing some familiar faces from Krem as we march in support of Tom's Turkey Drive. Coming up at five, we'll have more on the challenges the Lilac Festival faced this last year and how they're pushing through to put on the group's first holiday parade. Oh, before we head to Bray, we're going to leave you now with a live look at the roadways. We've been keeping track of the snowfall that has been moving throughout Spokane and much of the region, dealing with chilly temperatures outside. We're going to keep you posted on what else is happening with this forecast. All coming up after the break. Stay with us.